welcome to Agriberry Farm here in Hanover County. And uh, we're excited that you're here for a May visit today. And I'm Ann Geyer and my family, we own Agriberry Farm. We founded it in 2008. And we're going to take a tour today for May highlights, looking for the first berries. And also with me today, I have Luke Walton. And Luke was our first young worker, part of our training program when we established Agriberry. And he is now a student at Virginia Tech. And he's gained great knowledge both in the field and in his education. And he's going to be helping us as we go through the field today. Alrighty, for May pruning, here's a great example in our Chesters. And this is a plant that's one year old. And here's a primocane that Luke is going to take us through what needs to be done. It's very exciting because you can see some of the laterals breaking already because it's been leaning over. But we want it to do something different. Show us, Luke, what you will do here to train. Alright, so with this plant, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this all the way up to the top wire here and use these ties and tie it off. What we also do is top it right about here, about that far above. And what that does is actually stops the plant hormone auxin from um, sending off fruits and it starts the plant hormone cytokinin. Luke, you wanted to mention something about uh, the importance of the trellis. Uh, we also use this trellis thing to keep the plants upright and off the ground. It, we keep them upright so they get great airflow throughout the whole plants to minimize the issue of fungus. Fungus is a huge issue within um, blackberry plants, especially here in Virginia where it's so humid. So this is a mature planting of Natchez. Um, this is a really tall primocane. And what we do with these primocanes, like, as mentioned, we cut them off right above the wire. The difference between a primocane and a floricane is the fact that these are the second year buds, and, I mean the second year canes, and they will actually produce the fruit. These first year canes, all they produce is leaves. These are the floricanes, which are second year growth and have flowers on them. You'll notice we have a lot more movement in and out of that hive, or these two hives I should say. Um, they have definitely built up their population. You'll notice that this hive has gotten a lot taller since the last time we saw it. That's because we have put honey supers on. They are bringing in a lot of honey. They probably have at least four gallons stored in that hive on the left right now. I'm hoping we'll get six or better out of it this year. That'll be, oh, about 70, 72 pounds of honey. The one on the right, um, not quite as heavily populated as the one on the left. Um, probably two possibilities, I should say, for that. Um, they might have swarmed. In other words, the old queen left with um, anywhere from a third to three quarters of the old population to form a new colony somewhere. Um, or the queen just um, might be getting old and not laying as much. But they're also storing honey. Um, probably have a gallon or so in there right now. They're flying to the um, raspberries and blackberries now. I was out scouting them a little earlier and they, they are really taking advantage of it. This is really an ideal location. There's a fair amount of white clover around here, dandelions, which everyone hates to see in their yard unless they're a beekeeper. And of course now with the berries coming on, the, the bees are having a field day. Can't beat it. Alrighty, more of our May tour here on the Agriberry Farm. We're looking now at red raspberries, and you can see that they're not quite fruiting in this variety, but what vigor in this variety. Um, they're almost six feet tall already. And another exciting thing, they're also biennials, like we've spoken of, but these also can fruit on their primocanes. So that's what's going to give us fruit into the fall, but that's to be continued. And the other exciting thing, I wanted to see this contrast, one variety to another variety. Over here in Nantahala, which is a North Carolina variety, they're already starting to ripen at the end of May. And that's fantastic news. We love early red raspberries. All right, part of our May pruning conversation is if you're not interested in doing a lot of pruning, like we have in our black raspberries and blackberries, plant red raspberries. There isn't any topping involved at all. We're just going to let this grow, and then it's going to bear fruit in August, September, and October. Here's a few of our first red raspberries. Speaking of scouting, we did find a half pint. More to come when we get to next month. Alrighty, well we're so glad you could join us today in our May Cultivate a Taste for Life farm series. 
where we had a chance to look at primocane and floricane, blackberries, red raspberries, purple raspberries, and golly, and even find a few red raspberries to pick. And we're looking forward to a lot more when folks come out that last Saturday in June. That will be our next farm visit day.